Hello, I'm Pete and welcome back to Sable. We've travelled into a new area in search of Ecria. We haven't got to Ecria yet, but we have got to here, where there's a cartographer's balloon floating up high somewhere and all sorts of other stuff going on. There is definitely this puzzle for putting things. It looks like I need to get two more. It's a very puzzlicious area, this one. There's a chum egg as well. It's, n it's non-stop. If I look at the map, yeah, I mean, the location we're in at the moment, it's not actually named. So I wouldn't be able to fast travel back here. That's a thing to look out for. So I do kind of want to complete the quests in this area before I leave. Okay, so we've picked up a this, which I want to take back to where that face was. But my mobility is limited while carrying the Watsit. So I think this might be a throwing puzzle. And it might be a frustrating one at that. So can I throw this across to that platform there? Sure can. Okay. That's that's not too bad. If that had been a trickier throw and I'd had to make it again and again, I would have lost patience quite quickly. Uh, more throwing required. Oh, nearly lost that. And let's drop this in here and then we go looking for a third. So what else have we got in this area? There's some kind of cart here. A little side room. Shaded leaf butterfly to pick up. Let's climb this ladder. Yeah, I'm just going to stand on this roof briefly, just have a look around. Could that up there be the thing? Don't know, don't know. Let's continue exploring in this direction. A little bit of money. We're kind of doing all right for money now. Things are definitely improving. This room feels a bit dead end. That too is dead end. This could go somewhere. Sure does. Not seeing anything I can interact with yet. But there's a staircase that continues going up. All right. At the moment, I'm not sure whether I'm still looking for the third of those little carryable items or if I'm now heading up to the to where the cartographer's balloon is moored. There's another bucket there. Historically, picking up buckets has served absolutely no purpose whatsoever. There's nothing with a white dot on it here. We can continue to ascend. And this looks like a wall that wants us to climb it. I mean, I think I probably am heading up to where the cartographer's balloon was attached now. Well, let's hope I have the stamina to pull this off. Yeah, loads. The cartographer here is not making it easy for me to get to them. Not a very sociable sort, it would seem. Okay, the jumping puzzles are getting slightly trickier. Oh! That's the one thing we didn't want to happen. Where am I now? I need to backtrack this way, maybe? Hmm, this might take a while. Okay, the text has appeared. I think we must be close. It didn't take too long to get to that thing. Uh, so I feel like... That platform there... and then just climb this wall. Hurrah, we've made it. Is there any other loot up here? Just the cartographer, okay. I say hello to the cartographer. Cartographer Talon, ahoy! You know a surprising number of people show up here. Between you and me, I think they just want to feel tall. 
I decide immediately that he doesn't need to know whether that's my reason or not. Can I buy a map? Let's see what I have. Okay, he's selling a map. Oh, for a hundred. That's more expensive than previous ones. I can still afford it though. Let's buy one of those. And let's also buy the badge. All right, he's all out. Close screen. Hope that was helpful. Goodbye. Lovely. So now if I look at my map here, yeah, I can see all sorts of stuff. I can see Ecria over here. Uh, I can see the Balfron connection, which we've already explored. From looking around, apart from this big red thing, I mean, may maybe there's something of interest here. But I'm kind of, you know, whereas when I was looking at the map of Sansi, I could see clearly that there were little clusters that were inviting. Um, that would have special locations there. It's, there's, there's not really so many obvious... Oh, there's a little grey blob here, actually. Let's pop a little marker on that for for later exploration. But there's nothing else on here that says... I mean, this, obviously. But, you know, don't need to put a marker on that. Yeah, I think we should continue heading towards Ecria. I mean, we haven't finished this area yet because we only found two of those three watsits. So I need to find the right direction to head back down in search of the third. Let's try dropping down into the tower. And let's go to this platform here. Because I'm not sure, but I feel like there might have been a room I missed in here. I'm just going to go and check that out. I mean, there is this ladder. But there's not much one can do with a ladder where the top is closed off like that. Okay, yeah, I think the inside of this tower is a bust. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start by climbing up on top of this. I think that might be a, give me a, a reasonably good vantage point. Okay, so not sure if I've been on this rooftop before already. Oh, could that be it over there? I think I might have seen something. Yeah, I think that's what I'm looking for there. I will just fly over to this rooftop over here, just in case there's some loot hidden up there. I'm kind of liking having some spare money now. Um, I mean, one thing I'm learning is the price of the maps is going up, so that's something to be wary of. Uh, but also, I'd like to start buying upgrades for my for my bike soon. I always forget that I can't run with these things. Alright, this feels like whatever it is is going to be important. Okay, these chests normally have some item of apparel. A monumental stone top, an incredibly crafted piece of ritual clothing. It is awkward to wear, but hard to take your eyes off of. Let's pop it on. Pretty funky. Yep, yep, we can wear that for a bit. It's got a nice glow to it. I like that. Okay, I think my business here is probably done. I want to head back to Ecria. So, first I want to find my way out of this little zone. And then I want to get back on my bike. I will just explore this lovely verdant area over here. Just in case something presents itself. This particularly dark patch here looks good. Oh, and I see a butterfly. Another shaded leaf. It feels likely that if I climb some of these pillars, there might be some loot on the top. But, well, let's, let's, tr let's try one of them. Let's just go on this one just here to my left. And at the very least, that will allow me to, to take a good look at some of the other ones and see if they've got anything on the top of them. The interface in the bottom right seems to be shuck on, stuck on showing me the, the minus 50 from purchasing the, the badge. Not sure what's what's up with that, but maybe if I go into my inventory and back out. No, that's that's a little bit glitched out. Never mind. Now those two things, they look tall. That's um that's gonna be something to come back to. How do I mark that? It's with this, wasn't it? I'm just gonna pop a marker on there. 
because, uh, yeah, th there's got to be something up there, right? I'm going to need a huge amount of stamina to get up there, but there's got to be something. Okay. I'm done in this area. I see a, a signpost over there. Let's call my bike. And let's head towards Ecria. Hello, bike. Simoon. Oh, I think I see some smoke curling up in the distance. Yeah, yeah, this is a settlement approaching. I've been quite looking forward to going to Ecria. The way people talk about it, it seems like it might be a, a relatively large city. Let's see what we get. Oh, gosh. That's a big pipe. Or is this like a, a wall? I'm going to have a little head around and inspect a gate. What have we here? This is very exciting. Hmm. Well, let's, let's see if we can find someone to talk to. Yeah, we've made it to Ecria. Good times, good times. Um, I think I'm underwater. Yeah, the bike doesn't like being underwater. We shouldn't have gone down there. Let's try and get out. Let's not do that again. Okay, <laughs> lesson learned. <laughs> uh, is this one of those clusters that has a butterfly in it? No, okay. Where's the best place to park up? Well, this definitely looks like some other people have parked their bikes here, so we'll go with that. Hello, do you want to talk to me? No, you are rude. What about you? Do you want to talk to me? No. Okay. Not lots of chatterbox NPCs in this area. Here's someone. Serai Nomad Yuki. Oh no, what am I going to do? They've lost power in town. The merchants have started hiking their prices and now I can't afford my tea. Okay. Restoring power to the town is probably going to be a quest. Oh, there's many people here. Who are you? Garay is a climber in Ecria. He smells awful and his mask is about to fall off. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, now it's me being rude. Who are you? Maz. You, Glider. My name is Maz. I have a problem and I wonder if you could help me. He has a voice like burnished steel despite the softness he tries to inject into his entreaty. The tone of a man more used to orders than requests. I gesture for him to continue. I can at, la at least hear him out. It's my son. He sighs. He's being held by the Ecrian guard. They caught him tampering with the water supply. He puts up a hand to reassure me before I can speak any doubt. He was only trying to tap the supply, not taint it. He aimed to bring us a better source of water, one that would benefit us immensely. Is that really a crime? By Ecrian law, this is illegal, yes, but if we followed Ecrian law, we would all die of thirst waiting on some functionary to make the slightest effort. He sighs and crosses his arms, taking a step back. It is hard to tell if he is already defeated or just trying to tamp down some rising hope. I won't work to convince you. If it sounds like too much, I understand, but someone needs to stand against this. And for several reasons, it cannot be me. Not this time. Can you help? Uh, I'll help. Give me your quests, baby. I'm not sure what I expect, but the solemn nod I receive catches me off guard. He steps closer to me and places a hand on my shoulder. There is something else, something you must know, and that I hope will not break the bond we've made. Have you ever heard tell of the Shade of Ecria? No, what's that? The Shade of Ecria, a hero of the people, and a bane to those who would subjugate them, dark as the night itself, smooth as black silk, and fueled by the flames of vengeance, a legend in this wretched city. Though to ask the guard, or those who line their pockets, the Shade is a menace and a smuggler. I ask what he thinks. I think he was a man doing his best to right the wrongs of the powerful, but I might be biased. I am the Shade of Ecria. I barely have time to look impressed before he adds, And for today, so are you. What? When I retired, I hid the mask of the Shade, but even though the Shade was gone, the rumours, the legend persisted. 
A glider could not convince the guards to free my son, but the shade? Oh, at the mere sight of him they are liable to give you whatever you want. Maz points at a marking on a nearby wall. You see this? Head to the town gate and look for this symbol. It will lead you to the mask. Collect the mask and return to me. Then we stage the rescue. Farewell, glider. Nice, that's a pretty good quest. Okay, what's the thing he was pointing at on the wall? Um, I don't see anything on the wall. What does my quest say? He showed me the mark of the shade. Okay, so maybe that's not actually something I can see in-game. Um, sort of on this wall. I'm sure things will all work out fine. Uh, you. I haven't spoken to you yet. Sorry for climbing on your stuff. Sere Merchant Josh. The whole of Ecria is on edge. Not good for business, I tell you. Even my regulars aren't coming now. I would like to trade with you. Here's what I got. Alright, so this is the stuff I can buy. Now I'm still paying and I've got a whole bunch of stuff to sell. Butterflies, narrow stalk figs, dusk fireflies, husks, butterflies. Okay, so yeah, I can... Should I just sell all this? Might as well. Sell all seven of those. Sell all three of those. Sell all one of those. Oh, no, got more. Sell both of those. Sell all three of those. And sell one of those. We're up to 440. Okay. And the merchant only has 65 coins left. Let's leave. See you around, glider. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, that's funky. So where are we at? We have this town. The power is out. We have to get the mask. We also had a quest to talk to someone. This one, Chime Main Maker in Ecria. They are over there, maybe somewhere? This person I can talk to. And there's something I can talk to there as well. Ecrin Finn, this is a disaster. No power means no filtered water. The Oasis water isn't clean enough to drink on its own. Okay. I see a mask glaring through the slit with a statue-like stillness. Show me the eyes. I wait a moment, unsure if I really heard something. The mask is not forthcoming. Okay, so maybe that's where I need to take the shade of Ecria mask to. All right, let's keep exploring this area. These look like some guards. And presumably this person in the cell to the right is the uh, the one who's been imprisoned for tampering with the water. Okay, I want to get on top of this building. Oh, imagine my disappointment. I'm sure I was going to get something. Ooh, that looks like a pot that has money in it. Indeed it is. Okay, so right now I'm just kind of meandering around. I feel like there's someone who's going to give me a quest to restore the power supply. And I need to find them. Which is going to be a thing in itself. I think for now I just need to keep exploring all the way around this city. Figure out all of its ins and outs. Okay. Here's someone. Who are you? Ah, a machinist. Hamza is the machinist in Ecria. He's busy tidying up the workshop. It looks like someone has ransacked the place. What can I do for you, glider? Customised bike. Let's have a look, shall we? I still have no things to choose from, and I still have no way of knowing how to apply paint to this. Hmm. Anything else I can help you with? What happened here? Hamza explains that this happened a few nights ago. He's got no idea who did it. Could this be related to the power going out? He seems more resigned than concerned about having his workshop ransacked and indicates that he doesn't know who or why someone would do such a thing. I'm not sure I'm convinced by his ignorance, but I let it go. Anything else I can help you with? And goodbye. Let's have a little explore around. Let's try and steal the machinist's stuff. If the machinist has any stuff to steal... 
That's a pretty little bridge. Okay, this, this place just goes and goes, doesn't it? I am heading towards the, the chime maker. I could get lost in here. Right, there's a little bridge over here I didn't go across. Let's inspect that. Okay, we're in the chicken room. What's this? It's probably sleeping, whatever it is. Um, that's threatening music. Oh! I won't do that again. So, do you make a habit of trying to get yourself eaten? What was that? I asked what it was that nearly killed me just now. Well, it's a worm, isn't it? This girl is nosy and she's bloody strong. You shouldn't get that close unless you've had the proper training, or else you've got food handy. But you're a glider, aren't you? So I suppose I can forgive you a bit of clumsy worm handling. My name's Citra. I tell her I'm Sable, and she offers a quick compliment to my name, which almost soothes the embarrassment burning through my ears. After that, she's all business. Now, what's brought you here, glider? Can I help with anything? I get the sense that if Citra were an animal herself, her fur might have bristled at my question. It triggers a memory where Jaddy told me that it can sometimes be a labour in itself to explain how one needs help, and that I ought to try to see where I can be useful before I inquire. But I think I've made enough of an introduction already. Do I need help? Citra gives it a moment's thought. You know what? Yes. Nozzy loves a Hakoan glowworm as a treat. If you could find us some, we'd both appreciate it. I tell her I think I can do that and decide it better not to ask further details. I'm sure I can find something. I say goodbye to Citra. Ah, oh, please tell me that wasn't one of the things that I just sold. That'd be awkward. Glowworm, zero of five. Ask around at Seven Sisters Station to find out how to catch glowworms. Is that on the map? Yes, it is. Okay. Our quest log grows and grows and grows. It's... I'm finding it hard to keep up with all this stuff, really, I have to say. And so much of it is just things that are going to happen kind of incidentally. Go and retrieve the mask. Is this all marked? Okay, apparently I don't have anything for that. I think I should... Um, I should probably just about end this episode here. I will just steal some of Nosy's stuff. As is the custom. And there's a person who wants to talk to me there. Yeah, let's, let's end this episode here. And next time we will continue exploring Ecria. There is a lot going on in here. A lot. And the power is not even working yet. Who knows how that will change things. See you next time. Bye-bye.